Hey, what's up? Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to the first, the very first, 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 first episode of Tea Time. Tea Time. It's tea Time Tuesday. Tea. So get your tea if you got some tea, if you drink tea mm-hmm. and look. Iced tea, cool tea, hot tea. It's tea. tea. <laughs> Just get the tea. And on this tea time, we'll be talking about different various newses from around the world that may be of particular interest to all those that pay attention to. Yes. So, first up, let's jump right into this. I seen an article on Facebook that six years after Chinese pop star Zhang Mui, I hope I said his name right, he is 24, declared his love for then 12-year-old Mika Akama. Keyword, they, then. It doesn't say then in the title, but they are now tying the knot. This article can be found on What's On Weibo, and I will put the link in the description below so you guys can read it. Zaymoy became her music coach when she uh, when Mika was only eight years old. A decade later, the couple announces their wedding on Weibo. Six years after the Chinese pop star publicly declared his love for the then 12-year-old, the two have now announced their wedding on Weibo. Although some say that their love is meant to be, others say it's pedophilia. Weigh it. I, they, I disagree. I disagree too. I disagree. Because, first of all, her parents had to be around for the lessons. Second of all, he declared his love then. He waited until she was of age. And everybody's culture is, a lot of people's culture is very different. Mm-hmm. You got some states or some countries that will allow their children to be married at the age of 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. So, you don't know what the circumstances was in their household, in their country. But at least he waited until she was 18. And you know what? That's what I said. To declare his love for her. That's so what I said. I don't think that's so I know, I know, You know I what? Really when this article was first posted, it was posted on my Facebook on the page I'm a part of, and I've seen it, and a lot of ladies, a lot of ladies, find it disturbing, because it's like, why is this man still around her, teaching her music, when he just said that and everything else? But you're the not in that is, household, and you don't thing, know that exactly, culture. Exactly. The thing is, different culture, we don't know exactly <laughs> what's going on, it's not like he just was watching her shower. Or no. kissing her, or feeling on her, and or it doesn't say saying all how that. much he loves her. It doesn't say, it doesn't say, it doesn't all say that. that. And then it. on top of that, you don't know because you're it's not like there. He, it's like he made it. I mean, come on. Let's be real. Age is nothing but a number. My fiance, yes, I am getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I could do that because I only have two children and she is the last. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> My fiance is um, ten years older than me. He, he's in his thirties. My mom, she is how many years old? I am two years. Two years older. My brother's wife is. She's at three. She's about a few years older than my brother because my brother's still in his twenties. He's about to be about yeah. 30, 30, 30, 30. So she's five years older. She's five years older, and then my grandparents are ten years. They're ten years apart. Yeah, my 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 mother is. Boy, that was a repeat. My 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 mother. Yeah, <laughs> my mother is ten years older. So, this doesn't really come as a surprise to me. If anything, I'm glad he waited as long as he did. Now, let's say if something was to happen in between them, then yeah, this will be blown wide open. This will be blown wide open, as in like, why is he still around? Why was he still around or anything else? But he's her music teacher. But this is what I don't understand. They announced this after she turned 18. Exactly. That he was in love with her when she was younger. He waited. Mm-hmm. Until she was of age. A decade. So, therefore, why is there, what, what is the big stink about? The big stink about it is that people feel with her being 12 at the time, it's like, why was her parents still allowing him to teach if he said that and everything? He fell along with a child and whatnot. Okay, I see your point there. On some cases, that's wrong. But did it's he, creepy. But, but did he do anything? Act on it. That's, he, the that's the question. You can 
the thing is, did he do anything? Did he act on it? I pers I it's a 50-50 with me. I find it nothing wrong with it, but then at the same time, it's like that is kind of creepy because you're falling in love with a child at the time. And my thing is, if the parents knew, they could stop. Really, do you really think that they would let him be around her alone? For as long as it was, too. Come you got to think about that. For as long as he was around them, do you really think her parents would allow someone that's a decade mm -hmm. older, a decade older than her to... Be with, be with him, or at the time, or let alone teaching their child. No, so like let's. I'm speaking from um. I'm speaking from um. Not just like you know race type of view, but I'm just speaking in general. Would any parent, because because you know, would any parent allow their music teacher that's teaching their child music, like my kid would be, let me say, thirteen, and he has a music teacher that's in her twenties. Fall in love with him. Would I like that? I wouldn't like that at all. I would keep a close eye on my kids and not leave them alone. So if she's teaching them something. I'm gonna be right there. All that, all, all, like all that seriousness. Like, don't touch my kid. When he's of age, then you. When he's of age, he can do whatever the devil he wanna do. But while he's on my roof and he's underage, I'm keeping an eye on you because that that right there isn't cool. That's what I'm saying. I'm 50-50 with it. I'm cool with it, but then I'm not cool with it. You know what I mean? So, let me see. In the 2012, it made international headlines where 24-year-old Chinese pop star made a publicly declared love for 12-year-old uh, Canadian-born model, Mika. The two met, and was and um, he was hired to be her music teacher. She was only 8 years old at the time when they met. And then when she turned 12, he declared the love, he waited, left it alone, didn't say nothing else, and then now she's like, okay, yes. All right, you of age now, I can't do nothing. You know what I mean? You 18, it's like, okay, we done. Okay, now here's another thing. If he declared his love for her when she turned 12, mm -hmm. you not think the parents did not know this? If he declared if he it, made it publicly, publicly, the parents knew. And evidently, the parents found it okay, because he still was around. Yeah. He's still teaching. Yeah. Now she's 18, and she's getting married. So evidently, the parents is cool with it. And like I said, this is a different culture. This is, circumstances may be different over there in China. We don't know. I don't know. We're still learning about Korean culture over here. Like, come on. I know. Oh, I can clear. I can honestly say I know majority almost about British culture. I'm learning Korean culture. We're learning Japanese culture still. China is just like a shot in the dark with us because we're still learning that. Like we just started learning it. So we. I don't know what the deal is with with China and their culture and how they do stuff over there. What they do over there, okay. Yeah, we can get mad about that, but at the same time, that's not our kid. Mm -hmm. So, with that, we take a sip of tea. Hmm. Not our kid, so why are we mad? And two to one of parents know. Okay, let's move along. So, all that, she got picked out her dress and everything. She's excited about it. And, like, look, here's a picture of them. Now, at like right now, and they look like a, they actually look like a little K-pop couple. They do. <laughs> I love they're Chinese. Okay, he was twenty four then. He was twenty four then. Now he's in his thirties, and he don't look old. He don't. He's handsome actually. So. And evidently they look happy. So, problem is what? The problem is problem. I don't know what the problem is. Like that's the pro that uh, that's like. Like problem. I mean, come on. There's been some well, no, I mean, there's parents. There's, there's, no, that's not her parents. Huh. This this is a reference right here. Here's a picture I'm, talk, I'm talking about. At the time, she, this girl, her, um, her name was Lee. I can't say her last name. I don't want to mess, mess it up. Um, she was married to her fiancé. And, um, or his fiancé. I'm sorry. She, he's 40 years older than her. She's 18 at the time. This is 2015. 
He's 40 years older than her. This is the year 2015 when this happened, this picture right here. The issue is over there, or not the issue, but the question is over there for us here, why is that happening? You know why not? It's happening here. It's happening here. Yeah, it is actually. So what's most the people don't know it, but it is actually happening here in the states. What's the difference? It's happening here. It's happening here. You have ladies that are eighteen or twenty years old marrying guys that are fifty and sixty. Hello, my best friend. I'm not gonna put her name. One of my best friends. I'm not gonna put her name out there. She married a guy thirty years her senior. She's my age. Her man is oh, fifty. Yeah. Her man is fifty. And her dad is that. cool with it because her, him and her, him and her dad, they cool. They best friends. They cool like that. So I'm like, at the time I'm like, how did that work? But then at the time I'm like, okay, I can't say nothing. She's of age. She's in her twenties. She's grown. He's grown. He knew what he want. I can't say Jack. So. <laughs> Okay. I got that. Yeah. 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 Yep. Her man is thirty years her senior, and she is so happy. It's ridiculous. It's nearly sickening. No, <laughs> it's just it's beautiful because they both love the same things. They both love Harley's. They both um love rock music. And um, I know most of y'all were like, well, she's 20. She's grown. She can do whatever she wants. Okay. But now roll reverse it. All right? What if she was 18? Or in her teens? What if she was 18, 17, 18? And this man was trying to get her. This is the same, same exact type. It's almost the same exact type of deal. Whether you're um, an average Joe, whether you're a pop star, whether you're... I'm going to just throw it out there. I don't know what this is in my head. A producer... Of any type, an author, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're in love with somebody, but you're gonna wait until a certain time to be like, okay, maybe tonight, right now is the right time, then cool. You can't really bash anyone for how they really feel. You can't do that. It's like turn. That's like turning off, like being angry at somebody for something that happened to you, and you can't turn it off. Like you can, you can forgive, but you can't forget. With that type of issue, it's like this. Y'all gotta think. This is their culture. This is their way of doing things. If he wanted to wait, bravo to you because the whole that could have gone a whole different way. Mm -hmm. So with that, I say congratulations to the couple. That's all I gotta say about that. I say congratulations to the couple. A lot of people may feel this is pedophilia, but then at the same time, the parents are cool with it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you guys can look at the video that's with this article. Tell us what you think. <laughs> Tell us what you Daddy think down below. Feel. So, Amber Rose explains why she walks naked around her young son. He has no choice but to be a feminist. We all know Amber Rose. Her son Sebastian that she had with um, Ty uh, Tyler. He's a beauty. He is. He's adorable. Um, I call her the twerk queen because the girl can twerk. She really can. I don't want to be paying attention to it like that, but hey. Um, Us Weekly caught up with the 34-year-old model earlier this month in a safe space in Everly Wells um, Wellness Lounge in the event of California where she opened up about raising her young son, Sebastian. That's dangerous. To be comfortable around and respect the female body. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. The slut That's walk, a backfire. Yeah. The slut walk founder, I don't even know what that is, what the heck is that? I have no idea. Who caught who caused to a um who caused to aim awareness about the gender inequality spoke candidly about what it's like raising a boy in today's society and how Sebastian has no cho choice but to respect women. To be respectful to women. Let's pause right there. I get that. Be respectful to women. Respect the body. Respect look, look that's understandable. But you don't walk. You naked. don't walk naked around your kid. I have a five-year-old. No, I don't know. Like, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I just realized you had an epiphany. Yeah. We're, we're eleven months old today. Yes. 
We're 11 months old today. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that. Sorry about that. Yeah. It just hit me like. Now, when they're my son's age, my youngest son's age. That's a different story. That's a different story because he's not going to remember it. That really is. It's a different story. They're not going to remember it. They're going to be like, okay, cool, mom. But when they're about my, my oldest one's age, five, ten, and six, you don't walk around the house naked. Not even if you have a daughter. You don't do that. Granted, if you're in a nudist colony, you can't really do nothing. You're a nudist. So, that, that's going to happen when you're in a nudist colony. The thing is, though, with that, she says that he has no choice but to be a feminist. He does have a choice, technically. Technically. I mean, at five, you know, it's kind of hard to make up your mind. But, um, at the same time, it's like, why, why are you subjecting your, your kid to that? Like, for real. So, it's, I'm like, I'm like not e it's not even registering in my mind for Amber Rose, although I respect her as a woman and what she does in, in a sense. Why are you walking around your five year old butt naked? But naked, girl. We all know what you got. Let me tell you something. We all know what you got. You made this public; it could backfire. Yes. Now you can have child welfare service involved in it because they would think that it's if they think that when they turn a certain age that they're to be out in different bedrooms, and now you're walking, you're announcing it publicly now. Mm -hmm. That you're walking around your son naked, that's not cool. It could backfire on you, and that's not a good thing. I don't think any mother should walk around their child butt naked. I mean, granted, sometimes they may see you in your underclothes, but that's not good neither. No, it's not. That's not good neither. Because you want to have your child growing up wondering, you know, and... They, they, it could backfire. They can have respect, and then they could not have respect. So it, it, and it's all, and then to really boil down to it, it's all how you raise your child. But exactly. if you're going to raise your child to respect women, then there are certain things you are not going to do. There are certain boundaries you are not going to cross. Exactly. You're not going to walk around your child naked. You're not. You're going to have on clothes. I mean, of course, be comfortable, but you're going to have some clothes on when you're around your child, and you're going to teach your child verbally, and by what they see, that they are to res respect a woman or a male. But doing what you're doing, that's dangerous. It could backfire. And you, you're setting yourself up for somebody to come in and question your parenting. That's not cool. And I would hate for anybody's child to be taken away from them because of their beliefs. But today's society and the way this world is, it's crazy. you are putting yourself out there. To be questioned about your parenting, and that's not good. Now, let's put this out that's there. Let, let's put this out there right now. Y'all know I breastfed, and I had no problem breastfeeding my kids. He took himself off the breast. Okay, I kind of held a little bit. Cool. I breastfed in front of my five-year-old. Why? Because I don't like covering up my. I don't like covering my kid up. Why? Why for? We don't cover up with. That's natural. Kid. That's natural. It's all natural. Yeah, granted, what she's doing could be natural in a sense, but that's no, only if that's you're, to me, nothing. to me, it's like, if you were nudist, then yeah, not now, that not, mm -mm. no, that's not, it's not exactly cool, it's not, that's not, that's not hot sauce, that's not hot sauce, that's not hot sauce at all, I breastfed in front of my kid because it's natural, and it's cute too. Because then he points to my chest like, Mom, you going to feed baby? He knows what to do. It's not like he's just ripping my shirt off and say, feed him. No. My son knows the issue with that. He's like, are you feeding baby Micah? Yes, I'm feeding baby Micah. Okay, walk away and go play. That's what he does. There's nothing wrong with breastfeeding. I applaud any mother that breastfeeds beyond, um, beyond the year. I really do. I wish I would have kept up with it. Uh-huh. I wish I would have kept up with it, honestly, because he breastfed for about eight months. He just stopped. Like, oh, I'm sorry, he breastfed for about seven months. He just stopped. Like, he legitimately just stopped. Um, he just wanted to get off. And plus, with him eating new foods and whatnot, he's going to need some more um, than possibly what I can give him as a mother. So, yes. Back then, me breastfeeding in front of my kid... I found no quarrel with it. It's natural as can be. 
more kids are asking questions about that, be like, the milk is in mommy. Okay, baby gets the milk. It's natural. It's like, when I first told my son that, he's like, cool. He's like, yep, that's what you used to do. I did? You sure did? Wow. It's interesting. Sorry about that. It's okay. Let's mm -hmm. see what else she wrote. Or said. He's growing up to be a male feminist and respect women. She told us um, the child shares um, with Wiz Khalifa. I'm sorry. That's his name, Wiz Khalifa. I always have this dream where my son is in school and his friends are like, man, she a hoe. Or, what's up with these hoes? And my son's going to be like, you can't say that. Like, what? Because he's going to be raised in a house with me where it's just unheard of. As for... Hold on. As for incorporating the lessons into Sebastian's everyday life, she replies, Well, he just turned five, but I do have, like, naked women naked women all over my house. Like, pictures of vaginas, full-on vaginas, and so, like, my son sees it very so um, so much, and I'm very free with my body. Oh, wow. Okay. She continued to walk around. She continued. I walk around my son naked all the time. I don't, um... Stop when I still stop him when he walks in the room. I don't go, don't come in, mommy's getting changed. I don't um, make it bad things like where he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, it's just like, Oh, my mom's naked, who cares? You know what I mean? Rose explained that Sebastian already knows knowledgeable about female body parts and even educates his friends. What? Oh, god. Uh, when, when his friends come over Ooh. for play dates, they're like, Wait, they're looking at the pictures of. And stuff, but my oh son my is God. like, it's a vagina. That's where babies come from. My son knows about periods. He knows up, but all that he knows everything. And that's where the article ends. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. I, I need some too. That's dangerous. Cause his best friends is coming over there, and they're looking at that. How do you know? How are you gonna explain that to their parents? Exactly. That's not. Cool. How are you going to explain it to their parents? Their parents are going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. How does my kid know this? Where'd you learn that from? And that's where the problem's going to come in. Yep. And that's when people going to start questioning and making phone calls. That's not good. That's scary. That's a scary. I'm, I mean, that's not scary. I mean, it's scary in a sense, but it's like, no. My thing is with this, you're five. Be a kid. You know what I mean? Learn all this when you get into middle school, high school. That's where it really should be taught at. That's not good. Like, seriously. That's not good. That that right there for five years, please be a kid. I mean, we can't tell you how to raise your kid, Amber. Honestly, we can't. We can't do that. We can't. But as looking outside, uh, from the outside looking in, I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know about that at all. Wow. That's just uh whoo. I mean you got that. Oh, you, yeah, got baby, that. you got that. You got that. But um wow. Wow. I can't say nothing. That that's your kid. Can't tell you how to raise your kid. We just outside looking in. Mm. We outside not wanting to look in. Not wanting to look in. That's not good. That's that's not good. There's there's boundaries and lines and Wow, she just, listen, that's your household, that's your son, more power to you. You got to be careful when you're dealing with other people's kids. I'm wondering, though, how does Wiz Khalifa feel about this? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good question. How does he feel about that? Because mm -hmm. to me, even though she's doing that, and if she was doing that and nobody knew, can't nobody say nothing. But you're doing this and you made it public. You're going to raise a lot of questions and a lot of eyebrows. Especially with the parents. And that's not going to Especially be good. Especially with the parents. If your five-year-old was going yeah. on explaining it to kids, other kids his age, and then, then what if they go back and tell their parents? Then the parents are going to be like, where'd you learn that from? Oh, you did? From him? Okay. His mother? Oh, no. You got a problem here. You don't want that to backfire with your kids. That's why I'm very selective on what I tell my, oh, tell my son. I really am. I'm very selective. I don't, it's not, I, mean, mm -mm, I can't, I can't, but that's you, Amber, you got that, it's all good, alright, alright, last, last news of the day, 
North and South Korea Yay! have signed a pledge to end the Korean the long Korean Yay. war. It is over and done with. I've been Woo! asking this all on my page, on Yay. my Twitter, on my Facebook. I'm not kidding. This is so, this is like big. This is huge. Yes. Like, I'm so happy. Me too. Me too. History is made in the North and South Korea agreed to end the Korean war. It has been all over CNN. It has been all over every outlet of news everywhere. I'm reading this um, from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Like I said, it's everywhere. Gongyang, South Korea. The leaders of North and South vowed Friday to seek nuclear-free peninsula and work toward a formal end to the Korean War this year. Though the historic summit concluded with a few specifics on how they would reach the ambitious goals, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and South Korean President Moon, Moon Jae-in <coughs> set aside a year that saw them seemingly on the verge of war. They grasped hands, strode together across the cracked concrete, uh -huh. Sorry. Marking, the Kore uh, marking the Korean borders. The sight, inconceivable, just months ago may not erase the failure to provide new measures on a nuclear standoff. I forgot to get you <laughs> It's okay. Um, it captivated and a terrified millions, but it allowed the leaders to step forward toward the possibility of co uh, cooperative future, even as they not acknowledge a fraught past and widespread skepticism that after decades of failed diplomacy, things may be different this time. So, that is like probably the greatest piece of news I have ever read. That has been circulating for about, what, now four days now? Five, at least? That these two leaders came together, signed papers to end the Korean War. It is awesome. My question is, are y'all going to make it into one big career, or is it just going to be still North and South Korea? Mm. Because if y'all tell you not, if you're not, if y'all not gonna have a peninsula between the two countries like that, then that's that's my question right there. Is that gonna is it gonna turn into one big Korea or is it gonna be still North and South Korea? I mean, I'd like to. So, yep, they shook hands in front of a camera. Yes, I am so happy. They signed about papers. That. The man smiled. Yes, I am so happy. About <laughs> Listen, I'm just glad it's done before we even went up there. Right? Because you guys know we are going to Korea, South Korea next year. And um, it's going to be different. Um, so, and the question that was brought to my attention, along with this um, information, does that mean mandatory enlistment for our South Korean stars, pop stars, K-drama actors, and all that? Is that going to stop? Hmm. Like, my answer is... I don't know. I don't know. Do I want it to stop? Please. Please. Honestly. Well, no. Because, see, mandatory enlistment, at least they serve two years. Here, they have to serve four. And you know what? It should be. Yeah, that should stop. Because here, they had the choice of whether they want to go in or not. Mm -hmm. But they have to serve four. Mandatory there, they have to serve at least two. They, they but it should be their choice. I think it's community service after that. Oh, not community service. Or something like that. Um, because. I'm sorry, you guys, guys. Yeah. It's just the we're trying to ones. We're trying to get him to go to sleep. Because you guys, if y'all some K-pop fans out there that are, um, that are watching this, I know I got some K-pop fans that watch this, um, that are on my channel a lot. And it's understandable. And I love you all very much. Sarenge. Um, Big Bang. Y'all know that group. Almost all of them are in the military now. Except for T.O.P. Top. T.O.P. He was in it, and now he's out. And I think he does community service every once in a while, if I'm, mistake, if I'm not mistaken. Because he was the first to go in. And I think that's around the time when G-Dragon was doing his own thing. Okay. Um, I think. I'm not, I don't remember. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, Top went in, did his two, did his years in there, and then he came back out. And at the end, he came back right into doing, not right into doing music, but he came back out, did his thing, and went back into music. And I think he's, a, uh, um, I think he's doing community service at this time. 
So I don't know how it works over there. And I think that's mandatory for almost every Korean family with men, with males. The only reason that Korean Americans aren't doing it like that, like, you know, Jay Park, he wasn't, he's not, I don't think, he wasn't born and raised in Korea. Nah, he wasn't. He was born here in the States, in Seattle, Washington. So, he can't do it. Um, I forgot who else. Jay Park is the first one that comes to mind, but he can't do it. Somebody else, I said, I think it was, was that he the only one? The only male? No, there's another one. There's another Korean American. Um, we know him, but I can't think of his name right now. Right? Because, you know, Rain did it. Mm hmm. And he looked good in his uniform, y'all. Ooh, T on that. Oh. I didn't see that picture. Mm hmm. Girl, I gotta see that picture. Oh, God, yes. Right. I mean, he married now, but hey, you can't stop. You can't help but look. Um, <laughs> so, you guys. Yeah, okay. <laughs> guys, that about wraps it up for us in this tea know? time. And it's tea time segment. We hope you guys enjoyed oh, our very juice. our very first episode of Tea Time. If you guys have any input on what we have talked about today, about Amber Rose, about the Chinese um lovers now, and about North and South Korea ending the war. Yes. Please put your um opinions down below. And um, you know, chime in. How do you feel about all of this from beginning to end? Is the stuff that stood out to you? Like, go on, go in. Full to um, real talk. This has been Tea Time for Tea Time Tuesday. And we hope you guys enjoyed. All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, all the links to what we described or uh, talked about is in the description down below. So you guys can read up on it yourselves. And, um, yeah, do we got anything else to add? It'll be better next time. I won't get up and move around. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have you down for a nap. <laughs> yeah. Um, coming up this fall. Another new segment coming. This fall. Because it is the start of football season very soon. Yes. And, you know, we rep the Eagles. What's up? <laughs> Champions. Champions. <laughs> So, yes. Um, we're going to have Football Fridays coming up very soon. See y'all? Yes. In the fall. In the fall. In the fall. So, because we don't do always always football, so we've got Friday or Thursday night football or Monday night footballs. So, after those games, that Friday, be ready for videos. Be ready for videos. That's coming this fall. This when football season officially starts. When that kick, when the first game kicks off, We'll be there. And we're facing the Falcons out the door. Fiance is a Falcons fan. And she eats apple on that. <laughs> we didn't face we didn't face them. We didn't face them. We faced them like one time the last week. No, we didn't. We didn't. Okay. I don't remember exactly. Um I'm trying to remember if you faced them last year or not. I think we did, but um, Sure you but yes, this fall football season, football Fridays coming soon on this channel. A bunch of two women talk about football. What y'all know? She played football in high school. Little known fact about my mother. JV? JV. She played football in high school. My brother played football in high school. Bad Va boy. Va varsity? Both. Both. JV and varsity. Okay. And um, I play street ball. <laughs> I do that too. I play street ball. There are no rules in street ball. So. <laughs> Granted, it's been some years since I touched a football, a pigskin like that, but I did used to play. And I used to play basketball, but I don't like basketball like that anymore. So. But, yep. We guys, guys, we will see you all very soon. We'll talk to y'all later. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit us up on both of our social medias. New videos of our Kia Kia Bobia reacts coming soon. Um, Make a mommy videos will be coming soon. Um, then the new segments coming up. So this is a fun tea time video. I look forward to doing more. So yes, see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye.